Okay, I'm going to do the beef ribs with a combination of a dry rub and then uh, a sauce that I'll put on the ribs when they're finishing up cooking. So I've mixed together the dry rub here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just spread about half of that onto the ribs. The rest I'll use to put in the sauce. I'm just going to go ahead and get the ribs covered in that dry rub. And we'll let these sit for a couple hours, anywhere from two to four hours. It'll be sitting about two hours for me. And then uh, we will put uh, these on the grill. The sauce for the ribs is pretty much one 28 ounce can of tomato sauce. The rest of the dry rub mixture that we put on the ribs. Quarter cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of water, quarter cup of sugar, brown sugar, and half a tablespoon of Worcestershire, so just a couple of shakes. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn this on, mix it up, let it simmer for a few hours. We'll brush some on the ribs and use the rest when we serve the ribs. I'm going to do shrimp, and I've got eight to ten medium-sized shrimp and I like to marinate the shrimp just real simply I just use a little bit of lemon and lime juice I'm just going to give a few squirts of each of the lemon and lime juice add a little bit of olive oil maybe a tablespoon a little garlic Salt, and add just a little extra garlic powder to that, and a few pinches of red pepper flakes. Mix that up. Let that marinate for the hour, a couple of hours, and we'll put that on the grill. It should just take a couple of minutes to cook the shrimp up. Time to get the egg lit. Warm up for a few minutes, get the temperature, and we'll put the... Uh, okay, time to put the beef ribs on the egg. I'm going to cook them over indirect heat, and temperature in the egg is right around 300. It'll go down a little bit. Um, and what we'll do is we'll cook them over indirect heat, and then for the last 15-20 minutes, we'll cook them over direct heat with the sauce on them to get them browned up a little bit. There go. Now we just gotta wait. The ribs have been on the egg for just about two hours. You can see I've switched it to uh, direct heat, I've taken out the, the ceramic place setter there. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the of the sauce that we put together. I'm going to go ahead and brush that on the ribs and let those cook for a few minutes on direct heat. Get a nice crust on them. Probably turn the get the temperature back up to about 350 to 400, and do that for about 10 minutes or so, and they should be just about done. The ribs are done. I'm going to take them off the grill. If you can see, they're got nice grill marks. The sauce is caramelized a little bit on them. They smell fantastic. I'm just going to put these in the pan, cover them with some foil. Come back out, put the shrimp on for a few minutes, and uh, get ready to eat. The egg is back up to about 350, 375. I'm just going to put the shrimp on. Make sure they don't fall through the grate. These are smaller shrimp.
they're going to cook very, very quickly, just a few minutes. Just a couple minutes and they should be done. It's about four minutes later, as you can see, the shrimp are done. Nice grill marks on them. They cook very quickly. You don't want to overcook shrimp. That's that's not a good thing. So it's better to have them just barely done. The heat from the grill will carry over and help them finish up here in the next minute or two. So it's ready to go. We'll get everything on the plate and. Be ready to eat the Surf and Turf Special. Dinner is ready. It looks delicious. What we've got here is the beef ribs with the barbecue sauce that we made, the shrimp off the grill, rice pilaf, a salad with lettuce and tomato, and for dessert, chocolate birthday cake. Drinking with us tonight, we've got a Pinot Noir. It's Estancia Pinot Noir. Had it before, it's a very good wine. And for beer, I've got a Magic Hat Circus Boy Hefweizen. Nice wheat beer. And one of my favorite brown ales, couldn't resist buying it, the Terrapin India Brown Ale. Very good brown ale. So. Easy to make, it's delicious, and hope you get a chance to try some of these recipes on your own.